Hi guys, um, this is a video to show you uh, my last uh, project. Um, I will start by, um, this is my loft. I have a few things here uh, running uh, the house. Okay. Um, later I'll make uh, some more videos about uh, all, all this, but uh, for now I can show you here. This, this is the box that holds most of the, the stuff. So, uh, from this box, I'm uh, running the network for most of my devices. Um, I have a cooling system for this box for the summertime. I have um, PLC. Uh, controls uh, lights and a few a uh, few things more I have a sound amplifier I have a network player uh, all this is for a sound system which I will make a video for it at a later point but for now this video is gonna focus on the on this and this as you can read is my uh, bathroom automation system I'll quick open the box so you can just have a quick look at this. Okay, so this is the box. Uh, it might look a little bit untidy, but um, I didn't want to cut the wires too short, uh, just in case I want to make any change in the future. Uh, but there's a few uh, connection blocks to get the power which comes from over there all the way through there and it comes to there so we have um, a few blocks that uh, brings the signals from the Arduino which I'll show you in a minute and we have the relay blocks that controls the the fan and the LEDs the fan is the extraction fan of the bathroom the LEDs is some LEDs that I put on the bottom of my uh, my tub my bath uh, so that is the the box, yeah. What was that for now? Okay. Now all this is controlled. Is not controlled. All this is controlled by an Arduino, which I'll show you later. But uh, all the signals comes from uh, a PIR and a LDR. LDR. So it's a, a, a movement sensor and a light sensor, which they are just there. This is the hatch from my loft. Um, so when I close it down, obviously this will be in the ceiling. So that is an old uh, uh, smoke sensor, which I had uh, adapted to have the movement sensor over there, and the light sensor, which is just over there on the top, as you as you can see. Okay, from there, there's a wire it comes from the back, right there. It goes to a box at the back of that junction box, and obviously that cable from there comes all the way back to the box, which takes the signal back down to the Arduino, which then sends back the signals for the relays. I will have a look at that downstairs in a moment, in a second. All right, guys, uh, we are now in the bathroom. Um, so inside of this uh, homemade uh, box, uh, if you want to call it that, is uh, where is the, the what controls everything basically. There's a is an LCD with a keypad, and there is a, an Arduino Mega behind it. Everything is is fitted in here. This grey cable goes up to the loft uh, into the box I've just showed you. And basically this cable brings the power and brings the signals from the sensors, which I've showed you. Right. And obviously it takes back this the, 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 the signal for the relays. Okay. So the code basically why it does is... Uh, it's not very good this light, isn't it? Uh, try to show you this. 
Right. So basically, what I tried to show you, but the light is horrible. Um, okay, I think it's not bad like that now. Uh, so on the top line over there, you have the humidity in the room at the moment. So we read 71%. Then you have fan, and then you have 85, which basically means when the humidity goes above that set point over there, 85, the extraction fan, which is over there, will start. On the bottom left corner, there's a DHT22 temperature and humidity sensor. Obviously, the temperature is now used on this project, so it's only for the humidity. Uh, from there, uh, obviously the signal from that sensor goes straight to that box upstairs, which then comes down to the Arduino. Okay, so that is what we have there. And then we have on the bottom line, we have the light sensor. So the 378 is the analog reading at the moment. So light, then we have 700 there. The 700 uh, means when that number goes above that, the lights will come on. Uh, darker the number, sorry, uh, higher the number, darker it is. So the moment is, is 7, 375, 368. Uh, so that means I want darker, so the, the LEDs comes on. The LEDs we're talking about, those over there. Okay. They are at the bottom of my tab. So this is, is 10 LEDs all the way around. Okay. So, I can. This, uh, right at the end, uh, I don't know if you can see, there's an M. So if, if it says M0, that means no movement is detected. If it reads M1, that means there's movement detected. At the moment is really M1. Because I'm just walking here back and forth. Um, and the set point for the humidity and the lights, they can be adjusted over here, right? So let's say, for example, I want to put the lights on. Just to show you, I'm going to bring that number there below that set point. So light set point, I'm going to bring it down. Okay, so as you can see, 670, 66, so it's coming down. So when it goes below that, which is going to take a little while, okay, I have set in the code to do increments or decrements of 10 at a time, so this might take a little bit, but okay, we are nearly there now. So I'll bring that number now to 350, so the lights will come on, yeah? 350. There we go. So I'm going to show you the lights now. They're all on, yeah? They come on when that number is below that, and the movement is detected. So if I... Okay. If no movement is detected, even if that goes above that, the lights won't come on. So, which means night time, uh, during the night, even if it's dark, which it is obviously, if no movement is detected, the lights will remain off. So, only when I walk into the bath, the lights will come on. Okay? Uh, the same principle is for the fun. So, if I bring the fan is off at the moment. If I bring the humidity down, okay, 83, 82, 81. So as soon as I bring that down below 71, the fan, it will turn on. So I'm going to put it to 69 or 68, just to show 70. So I don't know if you can hear it, but the fan is now running. 
So I'm going to turn it off again, put it back where it should be. Uh, obviously this 85 is the optimum humidity I've chose um, usually. As soon as I open the, as soon as I start to have a shower or I turn the water into the bath, uh, just a couple minutes later, all the, the fun will kick in straight away. Uh, okay, so the lights are on at the moment. So what I will do is, I will just stay still, so the movement changes to zero, and you're going to see the lights going off. Okay, at the moment I'm reading on the LCD M0, so which means no movement is detected and the lights are off. Now I'm going to move. M1, okay, it detects me in here, so the lights come on. So I'm going to, so I'm not going to change the number again. What I'm going to do is I'm going to reset the Arduino, okay, and actually you can see the reboot system coming on. Press reset. And that is what comes on. And there we go. So when it starts from fresh, that will say 85. But the lights, I still have these at 750. At the time I thought it was the best option, but I found that now, winter time, 700 is the best uh, set setting. So, and this is it. Uh, this has been my last project, and, um, and I hope you have enjoyed it. You can follow some of these, including the coding, on uh, Arduino forum. Um, and thank you for watching.